to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellabratic. And I'm Amelia Bellabratic. And today, all the special events coming your way at Disneyland in 2024. Yes, if you are planning a Disneyland vacation in 2024, this is the show for you. Especially if you want to try to time it with something. Now, we'll see what's going to land when... We will be at Disneyland next year. We tend to go to Walt Disney World probably three to one, I'd say. (laughs) Three times a year at Disney World and then maybe for every three Disney World trips or maybe even six to one. I don't know. But next year we are definitely hitting Disneyland again. And let's find out what's going on. There's a ton going on. They've released it all. So if you're planning a vacation to Disneyland, these are the dates you want to know. Plus, which one has the better Events, Disneyland or Disney World. We'll get into that after. That's a toughie. Let's start off with Pixar Fest. So if you like Pixar, they're coming back to Disneyland from April 26th all the way through to August 4th. And this is at the sort of everywhere. This is sort of a not a ticketed event. This covers everywhere. Yeah, the parks, the hotels, downtown Disney. There's a little Pixar for everyone. So odds are if you're going to be there from the April to August timeline and you like Pixar, you'll be happy. Yeah, there's a little bit of fun. There is a daytime parade, which is called Better Together, a Pixar Pal celebration. And this will debut originally at California Adventure. And then at Disneyland Park, they have Together Forever, which is a Pixar nighttime spectacular. And it will return, but with some new scenes to make it new and fresh like Disney loves to do. Now, let's talk about what I like the most, which are the sort of limited time ticketed event types things. Yes, we know Disney loves to do this. And one thing Disneyland does that Disney World does not do, or certainly not nearly as as well, in my opinion, is the Lunar New Year celebrations. And yeah. it is the year of what next year? Ooh, specialty year. This is the year of the dragon. Year of the dragon. So was it Raya? Yes. Who yes, had it the, was. <laughs> the dragon. Anyway, so Disneyland, this runs from January 23rd all the way through to February 18th. So this is a tribute to Chinese, Vietnamese, and Korean traditions. And this will kick off the Year of the Dragon with some different Asian-inspired food and drinks. And of course, they will have Mushu leading the way in Mulan's Lunar New Year procession. Yeah, so how Mulan still takes over. Oh, Raya will get in there one day. And then right on the heels of that, pretty much, with a one-day crossover, if you're into gospel music... Then you want to check out this one-week celebration, February 17th to 24th, Celebrate Gospel at Disneyland Park in the Fantasyland Theater. And then there is Anaheim Duck Days at Disney's California Adventure. I love this. This is only two days. If you're a hockey fan, this definitely doesn't happen at Disney World, obviously. I love how they're actually playing up the ducks a little bit. Yeah, so this is a very quick celebration just on February 22nd and 23rd. If you're there, definitely try to make it for the 30th anniversary of the Anaheim Ducks. And this will happen in Hollywoodland and include a celebratory cavalcade, fan zone with themed activities, and of course, photo ops. And there will be appearances from certain duck players. Yeah, that's cool. I like that's a little bit cool. of hockey at Disneyland. As Canadians, yeah. you know. If you like hockey. Yeah, we like a little, <laughs> we like a little bit of hockey. Now, speaking well, of ones of we us. like, that's also at Disney World is the Food and Wine Festival that takes place at California Adventure. And this runs from... March 1st through April 22nd. So a little bit shorter than Disney World. They like to stretch theirs out for 7 million years. (laughs) But it is the festival nonetheless, which is pretty popular, I would say, and serves a range of food and drinks, as well as some cooking demonstrations, family-friendly entertainment, and a wide range of California cultures. Plus, I like that they bring back Soren over California at Soren. Just for this event. Well, I like that because it makes it more specialty, which is something I feel like Epcot should do. You know, do. a lot of people feel Not like... Not California, obviously. A lot but. of people feel like, because they talked about, you know, the, the way they're changing California Adventure, that it's not even California anymore. It used to be well, themed as California. Really. Yeah, so there is a great debate. A lot of purists um, just don't like what's happening with the park. But yeah. that aside, let's jump back to Disneyland for the next one, which is always quite popular 
called Season of the Force. If that doesn't give you a hint of what this is all about. Yeah, so this is a little bit longer from April 5th to June 2nd. And this is coming to the 4th with Hyperspace Mountains Makeover, along with the themed food and drinks, merchandise, of course, that will come with it. This is launching a celebration and a new adventure for Star Tours. And then there will also be Galaxy's Edge that is offering a new perspective on the fireworks with galactic music. And then later in the year, of course, we have Halloween time at Disneyland. That will be this year or sorry, next year from the 2024 edition is August 23rd to October 31st. We might catch this Ooh, because we are going at the end of August we may get there for Halloween. We often do. We they like to go then because... They start theirs much later. Yeah, they start theirs later than Disney World. And also kids go back in school if you're local in that area. So the parks are a little bit less crowded. So we like to go right at the end of the summer. I just want to point out one important distinction. Yes. Thank you to Disneyland for ending on actual Halloween. Yes. Cough, cough, Disney World this year. Cough, cough. Yes, but if you look at the next one, I think that's why Disney World did it. Right on the heels of that is Plaza de la Familia, Disney California Adventure Park. And this does go to November 2nd because isn't November 1st? It's All Saints Day and then yeah. there's All Souls Day. Yeah, so... But you don't have a Halloween party on All Saints well, Day. Well, it's Dia de los Muertos, I think. No. They tie it all in with that. So that is the 23rd of August to November 2nd. And then finally, the Christmas holiday season at Disneyland next year begins on November 15th. We'll now, wait, but I'll allow it. let's get into some of the actual events taking place in all these. First off is the Oogie Boogie Bash. No dates yet, but it takes place at Disney California Adventure Park. Yes, Here's sir. some dates we do know and some special events, some, some interesting new things. Yeah, so there are some 2024 Disneyland After Dark Nights, which I'm interested in because Disneyland usually has a bit of different things to offer than Disney World, who have been lacking in the past. Yeah, now before we go into them, just generally speaking, Disneyland... Gives you, just like Disney World does, but generally their start at nine and they sort of have a six to nine crossover period where you can do pre-party. So you can enter the park with your ticket from 6 p.m. Pre-party. Yeah, the pre-party. Now, let's talk about the first one. So there are the Disneyland After Dark Sweetheart Nights, and these are at Disneyland Park. And these are more so Valentine's themed on January 23rd, 25th. 30th and February 1st, 6th, 8th, 12th, and of course, Valentine's Day So itself. it ends on Valentine's Day, and there's a lot happening there. There's a royal cavalcade through Disneyland Park with some royals and regal horses, they point out. Oh, regal horses, that got me interested. You can dance with princesses, princes, and different Disney characters at the evening's royal ball. Stitch and Angel will host a dance party in Tomorrowland. That's something they like to do at Disney World as well. Yes, there will, of course, be special photo backdrops where you can step into iconic love scenes in Disney movies and a couple of friendships, but like Lady and the Tramp, Tangled, Sleeping Beauty, Aladdin, and all of those types of classics. And of course, guess what? They're going to have projection <gasps> and special at lighting. Disney? And Disney love songs to go along with that. That's They're loving so their projections these days. Yes, and of course, it's very sweet, so they will have some sweet treats and some savory items to go along with this that will be specially curated for sweetheart nights. This I love, that they do specialty food for these nights. Yeah, there's some cool things like a fried heart-shaped ravioli and things like that. So definitely check it out. Check out our show notes where we list them all. So tickets for these started to go on sale for Magic Key Holders limited number on December 12th, which is our release day. And then on December 14th, they go on sale to the general public. These can sell out, like all these limited ticket events. So if you want to go, get a ticket. Yes. Now, there are some Disney Channel nights. This is new. At Disneyland Park. I think this after, is cool. This is a two-night only on March 5th and 7th. Oh, I wish I was going to these. This is so nostalgic. This is so interesting for me because this is playing on a little bit of an older audience. They will have a high school musical pep rally take place through the streets of Disneyland Park. They will have a Phineas and Ferb dance party at the stage in Tomorrowland. Camp Rock karaoke will take place. They will have Descendants at the Rivers of America take you on a cruise on the sailing ship, as well as some specialty photo backdrops with the classic Disney Channel shows like Lizzie McGuire, Cheetah Girls, Teen Beach Movie, and some more. And then there will be special food and snacks, obviously. And one thing I know you would love that they are also doing is a Disney trivia challenge for Disney Channel. Yeah, I'm confused what era of Disney Channel this is. I feel like 
they were just catching the end of my era with Descendants yeah. and Team Beach movie. But I'm interested if like Good Luck Charlie, Austin and Allie, even like some of the later shows like Bunked and Jesse will make its way into those nights. So this is all new and we'll I have see. a feeling they're just testing it out because it's only two nights. But I like this idea. What do you think? I can definitely see it reaching all audiences. Like I can see millennial high school musical fans going, but I can also see like tweens being like, yay, we love Disney Channel. So I feel like they could reach a wide variety. And then I we'll go. close it out with a couple of classics. One, of course, is Star Wars Night is a Disneyland after dark. And yes. there are what? Five, six, seven, eight of these. Yes. From April 16th, 18th, 23rd, 25th, and 30th. And May 2nd, 7th, and 9th. Although not the 4th. I know. I noticed enough. that as too. But I, th- I guess they didn't want to shut out May the 4th be Ooh, with you. True. But, you know. From a business standpoint, yeah, true. Yeah, I don't know. So I noticed that as well. I found it odd that May the 4th was not one they of the special They could have at least nights. done like Revenge of the 5th. But it's Disney after dark, right? So they could have done May the 4th all day, of course, and just kept the night for a yes. party and done something extra but from special. from a business standpoint. They could have even charged more for that one. Come on, Disney. Far be it from me to give you opportunities to make more money. But <laughs> yeah. that, that event could have been more and maybe you had some actors from the franchise in or something. Exactly. Anyway, Ooh, you should have charged a lot of money yeah, for that. They're not then. doing that. So it's uh, you can still go on May the 4th. With all of the 700 ticket. Star Wars shows they're pumping out, you'd think they'd try to you know use that, but no. And then finally, they've done Pride Nights in the past, and they're doing two more, of course, during Pride Month in June, on June 18th and 20th at Disneyland Park. So some of these tickets are on sale sort of right now, so check on Disneyland.com, and then some will go on sale yes, later in the Magic year. Yes, Magic Key holders tend to have a little bit of an extra bonus day, but tickets for the earlier ones should definitely be coming up soon. I like a lot of these ones. So let me ask you this. Disney World events... Versus Disneyland events. Do you think there's a clear winner? Do you lean one way or the other? Disneyland is getting a leg up so far. I like your observation earlier that Disneyland, it feels like they have more in their shorter versus Disney World that those Epcot events are, you know, they drag on for months now. But it doesn't feel like an event in the same way because it drags I think you noted once on a previous episode, one just flows into the next. There's always an event going on at Epcot. So it's lost its magic as an event as opposed to it's just a fun part. I mean, we like them, but it's not like, oh, this event, it's just one rolls into the next. So it's... Just part of World Showcase now, basically, is what we're getting. Essentially, it's kind of lost the allure. So I'm going to make that this week's poll question. On last week's poll question, Walt Disney, not surprisingly, did defeat the Hatbox Ghost on if you could be transported to Disney World to see only one of those new personas. Really? Yeah, it was uh, like 70-30 type of thing. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so most people would like to go see Walt in Epcot. I would not have guessed yeah, that. Yeah, I was unfortunately a hatbox ghoster. Not that I don't love Walt, but you know. Anyway, let's... And I uh, was personally a rock and roller coaster secret third option. Yeah, there was no write-in option. All right, so this week we're going to do a Disneyland versus Disney World. Which one has better special events in your opinion? I mean, even like Oogie Boogie Bash is better than not so scary. I'm sorry, but it is. Yeah, it is sort of fun. (laughs) And these specialty nights have food with them and not just free popcorn snacks. Although Disney World is getting a little bit better. I would say this year, Disney World... They are getting better. They upped its game in terms of what they're offering at these ticketed events. We are uh, there next week at Disney World for both parties. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us because it's been, been very rainy at Disney World recently. Yeah. I think we'll check it out. Personally, they're really, really late to the Disney Channel event party. Yeah. Where was that 15 well, years Disney ago? Disney Channel Rocks was one of your favorite little parades at Hollywood many years exactly. ago. Exactly. That's when you should have been doing a party in the prime Disney Channel era. Disney Channel's got lost since Disney Plus arrived, I feel. Yeah. Well, also, I've just grown out of it. But still, I no, think... No, but I mean, they're not, they don't market it that much or talk about it. It's all plus, which makes sense. But I think they're in a bit of a conundrum what do we do with disney channel versus disney plus what do we promote what premieres where and so on and so forth anyway oh, i just think it yeah i think it's really interesting that they decided to wait this long to do it and they're kind well, of we'll see how it performs well they're mixing it up at first i thought it was mostly old stuff but now there's like teen beach movie which is not the same audience as high school musical at all yeah so there's something age-wise. for everyone so yeah all right we'll there see. you have it 
plan your 2024 Disneyland That's vacation true. now. Because <laughs> certain uh, kids, lots of I, stuff to do. I know little kids still do like Descendants, at least the later ones. So maybe they are appealing to all E-Troops. Good job, Disney. All right, that's the news for this week. Thank you, as always, for joining. Follow along on social media at 1923 Main Street. We'll see you again next week, and have a magical day. Bye-bye.